Hi, and welcome back to my studio. Last night, I or you watched me on a live show make put together some of the pieces for this steampunk steamship that I've been working on. So I'm going to finish it up here and get ready to post it on my blog. So um, if you watched me last night, you've seen that I cut out the photo. And I'm going to adhere the photo to the back of this steamship. This steamship is actually made to stand up. It's actually got this stand right here. See how it's a three-dimensional stand, and you actually put the steampunk in um, the ship into the stand. But I'm not interested in that because I actually want to hang it up. I I like to think out of the box with my projects, so I am going to be a little different because I can be. So let's start putting this um, pieces together. Last night you watched me make this piece right here. This is the engine, and I used the new um, enamels to do that. And I want to put a pop dot on that, but before I put the pop dot, I actually have to do this piece right here. Uh, make sure I have the right one. This is just a tiny little, um, like, I guess an arm for the engine, and it gets glued right there. So I am going to use crystal lacquer to adhere everything down. Um, for a couple reasons. One, because I painted everything with crystal lacquer last night. So, and crystal lacquer is one of the best adhesives out there, as most of you know, as far as a liquid adhesive. So, I'm going to use it to adhere everything down. And it's got a little bit of a clog here, so I'm going to quickly unclog it. And you can just use any type of um, sharp um, you know, nail, whatever you have around your studio to use for your... And I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out here onto my Teflon sheet so that I can just pick up very little of it for these little pieces. Like this is really tiny. So I'm going to take a toothpick and put some adhesive or some crystal lacquer in this point on the back of this little tiny piece and adhere that down. Oh, I did the wrong one. How was that? <laughs> Funny. You guys should have caught me. There we go. Okay. Now you do want to put this piece on first because it kind of gets tucked underneath the um, the engine. Also, I want to tone down my piece here. I don't want it to be as shiny as it is. So I am going to sand a few of the pieces that are going to show. Not everything is going to show, so I don't need to sand at all. And this is a really good tip also if you're using crystal lacquer and you don't want it to be so shiny. Um, sandpaper just takes off that dull, that shininess to it makes a little more dull. So now this piece right here, I actually want to use pop dots on or foam tape, whatever you guys have at home. It all works. These are some pop dots that I happen to have and they're little itty bitty circles. So they make it pretty easy for me to get in there and get all the pieces. So it does help if you take the adhesive off the protective part off the back. Okay. You just need enough to cover to get it to stand up. Three ought to be good. Depending on the size, I guess, you have. size of your pop dots or your adhesive tape, whatever you're using. So that goes on top there. So there we go there. Let me show you that up close. Perfect. 
Okay. Now also it has a piece right here that I want to put on and you could pop dot this or not. That's kind of up to you. I think I am going to use a pop dots because these are not very high pop dots. They're kind of um they're probably maybe an eighth of an inch. Not even that. If you're watching this, you are probably in the steampunk log hop that I'm going I do, did this project for. I'm very much into steampunk, as most of you know who follow me. I'm going to turn that around just to make sure I get it on right. Yeah, that's good. Okay, just making sure I get to see it perfectly. Okay, now I want to glue my picture behind. Now, this is actually not meant to have a picture on it. It's actually meant to be more of a, um, a, I don't know, a thing that you have standing up in your room or whatever. But, you know me, I like to think out of the box. So again, I'm going to use crystal lacquer to glue my picture down. I'm just putting it around the edge here. And... I am going to put this towards me so I make sure I get it right. Okay. I'm just going to clamp this on real quickly even though crystal lacquer dries pretty quick so I won't have too much time there. just to get it to hold down real quick for me. I'm going to set that to the side because I want to grab this piece right here and the dome. This is the piece right here that goes over top of here when you put the dome on. But this is way too shiny for me right now. So I'm going to quickly sand that down. Get rid of some of that shine. Now one of the things that I think is a problem is the cat uh, has Sam, Sam, to the back of this piece. So I'm going to grab my crystal lacquer again. And I'm going to go around the edge here with my crystal lacquer. And put my dome on. So there we go. And I'm going to use some of these little clips again just to hold it down for me so I don't have to sit here and hold it. And this again won't take long to dry because it's crystal lacquer and you don't have to worry about if anything falls out of the edges or whatever. It, it is clear. So crystal lacquer is completely crystal clear. So it won't show if anything does come around. So there's my dome getting ready to dry. Now it comes with a tailpiece and since I'm going to be putting this up against the wall I have to think about what I'm going to do with that tailpiece. How am I going to handle that? It's not going to be able to be deep.
Fi's idea of how I want to handle this. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is cutting off the back part and then adhering it on. So, let me... That's, that's the way it's supposed to look. See that? But won't be able to put it up against the wall if it's hanging on the wall with it like that. So I've got to change it. So we're going to come back to that. Also, on the bottom here, it'll be hard to see. But there are three little holes right along the bottom here. And again, I assume that that was made for something else. But I'm going to take, they sent me these tiny pieces. These were not in the kit. They were actually separate pieces. They actually got these little loops up on the top. I want to use those. And I'm going to hang them from the bottom of.